and then on my only route in there was this massive overturned lorry and like four police cars go for that like i want to do youtube i want to make tiktoks i want to make instagram content and then i guess i kind of just get scared about like oh what am i even gonna make it actually looks cute it was hailing on good friday hill on me Really crusty today. Why won't that stay? Do you know what? Is what it is. Just got a normal work day today. Um, when I say normal, I mean it's about to be 10 a.m. and I am gonna go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's about to be 10 a.m. and I'm about to go on an alpaca walk. Yeah, imagine. Imagine that. Wanted to do a little bit of makeup before I went out. And yes, I'm wearing a lot of layers because it's cold. An hour and a half of walking and a girl needs to be layered up, you know what I'm saying? I've been using this like, what's it called? CYO Matte Blur Primer. It's okay. It's actually a good steal. I think it was like five pounds. So, not too bad. And then literally the foundation that I've been using is the Revlon Colour Stay. This, I got the wrong colour. So I was rocking with 250 and I thought I bought the same one, but no, I bought 340. So she's dark. As long as you blend it, you know, it kind of works. Do you know what? I think I got this beauty blender from Primark. So they really stepping up their game, Primark. Also, Primark's done a collaboration with Greg's in Birmingham, I think. They have a pop up Greg store, like Greg's clothing. Like what? You could go and buy a sausage roll in the middle of Primark? Like why? That's amazing. I wanna go. If anyone wants to go to Birmingham, let's go. This one's a sleek a makeup palette in the shade medium. It's 374. I literally use it every day, so it's looking oh it looks crusty. It does. Oh my gosh, that was way too much. Oh well! I'm actually trying to do this really quick because I do not want to be late. I've never really worked with animals ever, and I don't even know if I'm an animal person. Like, in my heart of hearts, do I think I'm an animal person? Like, maybe no. Maybe dogs. Mm, but I am allergic to dogs. So, I've been using this lipstick. It's the Profusion Cream Lipstick. It's not great, but I got it in this beauty abbey calendar over Christmas, so I've been using that. And then also my friend gave me this I Heart Revlon eyeshadow. And you know, she's quite cute. She's been serving you well. I've been using it for the past two days. And literally this makeup routine is going in such a random order, but it's okay. We're just trying to move and groove before we go get some alpacas. Hit him with the brows. This one's the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pen in the shade neutral brown i heard this hack that you can do for your lips apparently the perfect lip combo is your eyebrow pencil as the liner then whatever you use for blush in the middle and then just a gloss on top and do you know what i tried it and it looked fire like it was so cute i was like what the fuck that's so nice i've just been using the nyx epic eyeliner um am i gonna do it over here Sure. I flick it up like that. <laughs> and then I only bring it halfway to my lid. Oh my gosh, that looks crazy. That's why you don't do it on your phone camera. I did the other side in the mirror. Okay, that is the world's wonkiest eyeliner. And then I just got it out with a regular schmegular setting spray. I do want to get the all nighter spray from urban decay but that shit is expensive so maybe when i get paid we'll see what the vibe is i'm literally just gonna drive over to the car park at work oh my gosh hello i literally had the worst drive to work yesterday because of the storm let me tell you what happened so my car is literally so bad. If anyone wants to pay for a new car, 
It was so windy that my car was actually blowing in the wind and I'm sorry that you can't really see me in this angle but it is what it is. My car was actually blowing on the road. I did think I was gonna die. Oh I forgot that they've like barricaded bits. Gotta go around. Move everyone. I've got some alpacas to get. Yeah so my car, my car, my car was blowing on the road like swerving and I was trying to keep it straight and then on my only route in there was this massive overturned lorry and like four police cars going like you can't go this way there wasn't really another diversion because it was on the only way in so then i had to kind of go around it somehow and i was smart and i was like oh if i just head in the general direction of right then hopefully i will make it and i was i was good on that until on the new diversion i ran into a massive tree on the road like the like a whole entire oak tree was completely in the middle of the road fab can't go under it can't go over it around it through an estate like it was crazy and also two branches separately hit my car i am surprised that i am alive i'm surprised that my car is alive what the heck so we're here now i'm gonna switch my wellies over because obviously i'm not gonna be walking in my freaking white shoes with some alpacas no they used to be white now they're looking a bit crusty dusty i've got a hat got a scarf got gloves guys it's gonna be so cold today so hopefully i won't freeze to death but if i do pray for me you got a christmas tree he says he's got a Christmas tree. He's happy. He's happy. Okay, so update. It literally rained the whole time for two walks. It would not stop raining. I'm freezing. I've got some chips because I've just got to eat. My jacket's not waterproof either. So I'm wet. I'm actually wet. Me. Freezing. Oh, I'm so cold. And hopefully I'll be able to get warm. Um, <laughs> and then I've got to go help um, one of my friends get the alpacas out again after this. But we're about to go do an activity called Glitter Globes, where you basically make a snow globe, but it's glitter. So I'm trying to eat my chips, I'm trying to get some food in me. No, she gave me this hot drink because I'm working outside and it's freezing. So that's nice of them. And girl, let me tell you, I'm freezing. And now I've been saying it, but it's, it's cold. It's cold. February, winter, rain. Seven hours later. So update, we're gonna go out for my friend's birthday tonight. Um, I'm just eating these. Snacker Jacks. It's not just any chocolate chip, it's cheeky chocolate chip. Excuse the blanket. I'm literally freezing. Yeah, we had a good day today. It was really cold, just did a lot of activities. So then we're gonna go out later. It's gonna be good vibes, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to hop on the vlog, kind of rant, because basically I've been feeling a lot of, like I need to get my shit figured out right now and then you realise, oh shit, you're 22 and you have the rest of your life to do that. But also feeling that kind of pressure of, oh, I need to find another job or I need to stay in this job and I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. But I guess I know what I want to do with my life, right? Like I want to make music and dance and make content. Okay, cool. You want to do that? Are you doing it? And yeah, like I went to Brighton last week to record a track with my friend. Um, I haven't danced in ages though, and I don't really make that much content, but I don't feel like it's as good as I want it to be. But then I also realize that's part of the process, right? Like kind of grow and learn from making and doing. So I guess this rant is kind of me reminding myself it's okay to experiment and try things as long as you're just going. Girly, as long as you're moving. It's fine, you're going in the right direction. You're just liking what you do, you know? I love making vlogs and just chatting and doing things and documenting it. It's what I do anyway. And if I can make a living off of that, that would be amazing. But I've only been doing it for like a week. 
a month, like not long. And I've not even been putting 100% of myself into it. So, you know, try to remember to love the process, trust the process, but also enjoy it. Because I do enjoy making these videos and I do feel like I will be successful. So it is about patience as well. And yeah, like, I know all the right words in that, but it's like living it. Ugh. Um, so I'm trying to like it now and kind of have fun trying things out and experimenting. Cause I know that like when I am successful, asterisk when, <laughs> that I'll look back on this and be like, oh, that was so funny. That was cute times, vibes. I think I'm going to make more vlogs. Why not? Why not? And then I'm also trying to figure out what my niche is. It's quite obvious to me that my niche is gonna be being a creator in the music space and making music and singing and all of that good stuff. The lifestyle through the lens of trying to be an artist. Love that for me. It might change as we go along. It will develop. I'm open to trying things. The only way is up, baby. Currently, it's nearly the end of February. Oh my gosh, I literally just spat. Ew. <laughs> Apparently, I've gained four subscribers this month, so thank you, because I really haven't posted as much. I've only posted four videos this month. I say only, like, that's really good, considering I've only just restarted this journey. Try and make a solid plan, but also feeling like I'm not very good at making plans and strategizing and I just feel like stressed to kind of decide what I want to do and kind of really go for that. Like I want to do YouTube, I want to make TikToks, I want to make Instagram content and then I guess I kind of just get scared about like, oh what am I even going to make? And then I just make nothing instead of just making. That being said, I did a TikTok experiment, like I've been posting twice a day for a month. I gained a few followers but it wasn't really anything meaty and I think it's upon looking back at it it's because I was just posting like shit like random stuff inconsistent things no niche and it's kind of like why would anyone follow me I'm not really posting anything like follow worthy oh, I think I want to do more music for sure posting more music I want to do more dance because I, I really like dance I haven't been good at it like I'm not a professional dancer, so that'd be fun to document that journey and document the process of becoming a better content creator and just being an artist. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Document the process of being a full-time content creator, lifestyle bitch, and artist. Hello, multi-talented. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I'll do that. Actually, I'm going to end the vlog now, so... See you in the next one. Bye. Side note, sometimes I talk in an American accent and I don't realize that I'm doing it. It's because I've watched too many TikToks and too many Disney movies when I was little and now my brain has like adopted American accent. So sorry, I'm sorry about it. It's, it's awkward, I'm working on it. I, I don't know who I am. Ah. Okay, bye. The only way is up, baby.